we have a, another question. Let's see. Here we go. Here we go. Hey, if you like these videos, go to our YouTube page, which is Heath Wiggins, and subscribe to these videos and hit like, subscribe. Like, like and subscribe. Okay. Sorry for that interruption, but we have to get that out the way before we forget. It's a long one. Okay. Does it ever come to a point where I must realize she just will never be who I pictured mm. her to be mm. one day? Or should I keep hope alive and take the minimal growth over time until she gets there? Mm. Hey, mm. you're not happy. Do you have anything to say? Yes. Can you read that again one more time? Does it ever come to a point where I realize she just will never be who I pictured her to be one day? Or should I just, should I keep hope alive and take the minimal growth over time until she gets there? Well, you know what? The first thing come to my mind when hearing that is that, are you doing what you want to see? I mean, if you're not seeing what, and cultivating your wife, and, and helping her grow in certain areas, I'm just wondering, what are you doing? No, no, you preaching. <laughs> that was the first, you know, because mm -hmm. I don't, what's that scripture? You know that scripture. Ephesians chapter 5. Mm -hmm. um, what does it say verses, for the husbands to do? Verses 30, no, 20, um, 24 through 33, where it talks about... Um, what the husband's role is. Husbands love your wife as Christ of the church. And then um, how the husband's supposed to do three things. He's supposed to sacrifice for her, give himself up. He's supposed to teach her by the reading of the word. And then he's supposed to present her back to himself. So what he's getting, he's presenting mm. back to himself his work. So he, <laughs> he needs to cultivate. And what he needs to do is to do those things that he wants to see. And present it back to himself. So, you have, sir, you have some work to do. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah. I, I mean, yeah. Yeah. She killed it. It's basically, I mean, to to look at your wife and be displeased, you're really looking at your work and not being happy with it. Because uh, biblically, as Ephesians says, uh, you are supposed to present the wife back to yourself as a radiant uh, church without spot or wrinkle or radiant woman without spot or wrinkle. So the, the work that you need to do to cultivate her and to cultivate the relationship, to cultivate the relationship and her in the relationship, um, there's a lot of stuff that goes into that, but there's, there's a person that you need to become. There's things that you need to learn and there's ways that you need to execute it that's beneficial for the relationship and for her. And if she's not responding to that, and you're not adjusting accordingly, then really it's, it's something that you need to learn how to do. Now, I will say that the responsibility is on the man to lead. Um, but as we talked about in the previous um, uh, video, that people come to relationships with baggage and issues. And so it's conceivable that your wife may have such big baggage that you may not even know how to deal with that or it's not for you to deal with. She need to get some professional help to deal with that. Uh, and so, she, or she may be unre uh, unwilling to follow um, your leadership. Um, and so there are those examples. Yeah. And, and if that is, if that is the case, I'll grant, I'll, okay, I'll give you this. I'll give you this. <laughs> if this is the case, then um, you definitely need to get, she needs to get some counseling or y'all need to get some counseling. Um, I know, People don't like to hear you need to get some counseling, but the counseling is for is needed for a reason. And when you have issues in your relationship that you can't solve, then you need to get some help to solve them. And, and getting a divorce is really not an option because that doesn't solve anything. That just solve, that ends the marriage. I think that you would prefer to stay married and be happy with her as she gets help, um, as the two of you all get help, because it's not just her. It may be the both of you all, depending upon what the issue are, issues are. Um, but absent of that, if it's something that she's dealing with and, and you need to find a way to be a better leader, to lead her through and navigate her through the emotional malaise that she's going through in order to get to the point where she is 
you're seeing some um, successful growth over time, then there's a this leadership game you need to step up. You can get my book, His Bam. Leadership, Her Trust. <laughs> I just have it on handy, on, on, on the ready, and uh, which talks about how to be the kind of man that a woman trusts, respects, and actually wants to follow. Very, um, very good steps in there about how to provide leadership in, in the uh, marriage context. Um, and so that's one way of doing it. And then doing some uh, groups with some men who are married that are doing it successfully, getting an accountability couple and stuff like that. So those are, those are ways that um, you can do that. I was thinking about how when a man is leading and the examples that he gives, women follow that. So another thing I was wondering is like, what examples is, is he showing her? Because we follow that sometimes. So Right. He might need to look in the mirror, not only about the cultivating thing, because I did hear Miles Monroe talk about that one time, but he might need to look in the mirror about what he's putting out because she might be following what he's doing. That's a good point. I, I uh, makeup looks good. Really? Mm -hmm. Guess what? What? I don't have one. You don't have eye makeup on? You don't have, have any, what's mascara. that, eyeliner? I mean, I have I, no mascara. That's what it. is mascara? Do you see? On oh, my eyelashes, I don't have anything. You don't have anything about it? I have nothing, just it sheer like, natural beauty. You beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking I at your eyes, anything. I was like, it looked like your eyes, some eyes. I just got mascara A little shimmer, on. shimmer up there. That's Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I sanctify it? I can't help it. It's the way I was raised. Jesus. No, Jesus ain't. Oh, right. no, maybe, I'm sorry. maybe Jesus did make your eyes look Well, like that's that. what I'm saying. He made it naturally beautiful. Yes. Because I have no eye makeup it on looks my good, eyes. Though. Thank you. There's nothing there. Okay, we going. That's now. why I don't wear makeup. All right. Thank you all. Right. Hope that helped you. Uh, if it did, um, click a thumbs up for uh, this video. And if you uh, could go to YouTube and subscribe to our videos, please. And it's under Heath Wiggins.